What's going on, Jake Paulers? It's the Guitar Club. Hope you guys are having a good week. Hey, we're working on a new song. It's called "Lord and Lift Your Name on High," and this song is going to use how many how many chords do we use in this song? This is on my heart. I don't know five. We use four, right? Four. What's which G, C, and D? And we have a what? What kind of minor chord? Uh, e, e minor. E minor, which is the relative minor in the key of G. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to play, There's show you the different patterns we're going to go over, and we're going to go over the song and play it and sing it together. So the first pattern, we're going G, C, D, 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 D. Can we repeat that a couple of times? Huh? Oh, it's called Lord, I Lift Your Name on High. I think I did. Yeah. yeah you did. You're just trying to mess me up, Lillian. Oh. Just kidding you. All right, so what we're going to do then, the second pattern, the chorus in it, it kind of is like it goes down and then up. So we're going to go G. C, D, C, G. So you just, you know, kind of up and then down. You do that a couple of times. When we get to this, this lyrics, it says grave. The second time we say grave, we go to an E minor, right? And there's some then nice we go to a C, D, and then back to the first pattern, which is the G, C, the D four times. Ready? Who is going to try to and sing it and play it? It's a full song this time. It's a full song. Not you guys ready to rock and roll? Just the chorus. Okay. All right. Everybody get their G chords ready. And Jake Pollard's ready? <laughs> yes. Not Jake Pollard. All right. We're haters on it's Jake Pollard. We're haters. It's the G. It's the. Re you join Rebecca the G the Rebecca the Molo. There we go, ready? One, two, three, four. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. G, I'm so glad you're in my life. G, I'm so glad you came to save us. Of course, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My dead pay from the cross to the grave, from the evil grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. See? Right, get back to the first pattern. Yes, repeat. Repeat it. One of the things that we need to be focused on this week in particular is when we're going from one chord to another, like G, C to D, or to E minor, you want to make sure that you strum in time, which you guys are getting good at the strumming, but also that your intonation is good. So let's go through. I was going to ask you guys real quick to play a random chord from that song. Okay, you ready? So everybody get pro get, get poised and ready to go. Lisa, play an E minor chord. Good. Sydney, I want you to play a G chord. E minor chord. D chord, Alyssa. D chord, Sydney. It's okay, you're really close. Now, this is one of the things that we accidentally do sometimes, is we are in a hurry. That's when it would be really good. There you go, good. Nice, so you know it. You're on it. Play that. Very good. Million D chord. Nice. Sipe. C chord. Good. Can you make sure that your little finger's down here? Or you little know Try it again. That was a good one. Sometimes what can help, you see your little thumbs up here? Yeah. Your little thumbs up here? Putting that more on the back of the neck like this can actually kind of help you kind of have better intonation. Okay? Let's do that a couple more times. E minor. Very nice. C. G. Alyssa. Very good. That was excellent. So what you can do this week is practice along to this video, playing Lord and Lift Your Name on High all the way through, and then maybe we could do this for a mass sometime. Would that be fun?
Excellent. Okay, good. Well, Guitar Club signing out. You guys have join a... Join the Gia family. There you go. Join the G fam. Come and join these lovely little Jake Paulers. No, not G.